It's a pickaxe, okay? Welcome back to Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. Previously, we met, um... Some zombie fellows. But sadly, they had to leave us. But at least we have the zero key now. We can finally leave this godforsaken place. It's time to return to the main line and continue our adventure. As solemn music plays. We don't even get a choice this time. We're heading right on back. Yeah, there goes the freight train, too. Thanks, Zonmi, wherever you are now. She's probably in a better place. Like we will be in just a few moments. So, welcome to Switch Point Zero. We got a zero key. For the zero lock. For the zero switch. And the zero pulling of said switch. Now we could finally leave. <laughs> we'll never see this place again. <laughs> Clearly. Yes, thanks, Bariki. Lion still seems to be a little shaken up about the whole ordeal. I don't blame him either. But we're back on the gold line, or the yellow line. Not a single stink or peona to be found either. That's the end of page 9. At least the, the guys are in a better place. They look happy. And now we're right back on the right track! Thanks for thwarting the evil. Even though they had to get thwarted by the sun. Man, that's gonna stick with me for a little while. But it's time to move on to Port Town! Look at all these different trains! They're looking at that weird green train and going, what's wrong with that train? Why does it look like a tingle? And I'm not pleased about this. It was pretty fun, except for the time we got, like, stranded. And, and they got stranded again. A lot of stranding going on in this game, actually. Please don't tell me she's standing on top of the train again. No, she isn't. Good. She learned. <laughs> we made it to Port Town! Now we just have to get to the ferry. Yep, we're taking a boat now. A train boat! So, trains are just like cars in this kingdom, isn't it? This really has to be spirit tracks related. Look at all these train tracks! <laughs> I like how Lion has to educate Kakashi on everything. It's a boat, Kakashi, okay? Yes, yes, we're totally going into space! Ah, huh, I really wanted to go into space and fight Uncle Rupee. Oh wait, different game. Yeah, it's too much of a hassle to explain anything to him. Just let him have it. No, you're not going to learn about space today. Oh, we got plenty of time. I mean, look at all the time we wasted with all these adventures. I'm sure we could wait a little bit longer. Hmm, this seems very official. Hi, guys. Just a regular tingle. Don't mind us. They're probably gonna have to check our bags, and they're like, you you have some straw, a mechanical woman, and a, a lion in there. We're gonna have to check these. So welcome to Chapter 1, Ports and Permissions. Yeah, that's pretty bureaucratic, if you ask me. Hi, how you doing today? I see there's a gate in our way. I'll need to stop us from getting through, because we look like Tingle. The guard runs everything, huh? Alright. He's a very armor-clad guard. He's a very armed guard. And he's a very suspicious guard. Hello, how you doing today? Passport, huh? This is not Mario and Luigi. 
I wasn't aware that we needed a passport to go around the kingdom. So we don't have a passport. We can't pass through. We can't pass the port when we don't have a passport. No, that was, uh, that was an adventure well spent. Good job, everybody. Handshakes all around. You could have told us this sooner? Oh boy, bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. That's all I like to call it. No, no yay. There is no yay with this, Kakashi. This is my mood. This is mood right here. Well, at least it's nearby. The city administration, oh boy. So, the, the person inside has like no soul and hates their job. Oh no, no rupees! It's an advertisement for Dun and John's Dungeon. I haven't been back there in a while. Only because I have plenty of rupees. Speaking of rupees... It's Mr. Love ya. How you doing, middle-aged pit? So he's doing business in the port town, too, now. Maybe he has some new supplies for us. And maybe some new information, too. Well, he has new items in the lineup. I can't wait to see them. Also, he has some more information, like, uh, popularity level. We've had a few popularity upgrades already. The more ladies that we have under our spell, the more popular we are. And the better Tingle looks to himself. So that means there's something secret. Good to know. Now, how about these three hearts things? Iona has three hearts. I don't think that's natural. So most women will only have one heart. But there's some that have several hearts. They're very guarded. Just like Iona. As you progress through, the presence will uh, change a little bit. They might not be effective anymore, just like that level thing that we were seeing. So that's good to know. Uh, looks like we saw the rest of this already. Oh yeah, changing tastes. We haven't learned about that. If they have several hearts, their preferences are going to change a little bit from heart to heart. Also, uh, there's a steel heart. Uh, he's not really mentioning anything about those. They'll become difficult. You'll need to use a tinglometer or something. Uh, speaking of which, can you, like, work on that? Because I'm having some time problems with it. Hmm, that might be interesting. Maybe they'll be into moist meters. Moist meters are level one, and they'll, they'll, they'll never work. Well, let's see what he got, anyway. Alright, looks like he has some, uh... Decorations, but we already saw these. We got some tools now, though. And, uh, he has nothing in the special, and I don't think he ever will have anything in the special. It's just kind of there. Let's see these tools. We saw bug glasses before. But we got these. And step counters. Bat stools. We got a cover cover. Yeah, I really like those book covers, and I don't want them dirty. I, I wish I could cover them with something. Peas shoot out of its beak! I don't think the doves like peas. If that was a duck spencer, though, people would go crazy for it. Now, of course, a standard pencil case. An hourglass filled with stardust. You got an easy lighter. Yeah, you're not, not going to burn yourself with this lighter. It's like one of those electric lighters. We got a Dr. Dowsing here. We saw this before, though. We got some Bubble Bubble. And it makes you feel like you're having a bubble bath when you're not having a bubble bath. And we have the... the HC thing. Uh, hold on a second. 
Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I didn't do anything on, like, uh, the desktop or anything like that. I wasn't certainly pulling up any kind of notes or anything like that. Here, here's a fake safe. You can put plastic rupees in your fake safe, and the robbers will be very, very angry. Anyway, uh, let's see what we could get here. Um... Let's see, Mature and Gorgeous seems to be on the menu. Let's look at the Mature... Oh, I want Mature and Gorgeous tools. How about some Bubble Bubble? I'm gonna take a couple Bubble Bubbles with me. Ah, uh, let's grab maybe some pretty things. Let's go with an Umbrella Leaf. Some Star Glass. And a good old standard pencil case, just for the heck of it. Uh, maybe... Hot and Cold Poultice? Am I pronouncing that right? I'll take a couple of those, so why the heck not? Ah, uh, let's grab some cool things, because you never could run out of cool things. Like, this Easy Lighter and Dr. Dowsing sound pretty good. And, you know, lipstick soap. And otherwise, not really much else except for, you know, um... No questions. No questions, please. Anyway, uh, thanks! Uh, oh, hi, uh, Spoiler Hermit. You here for some spoilers? Well, I'm here to save. We're at the ocean! Finally, we're where Pig is. Me and Pig have met up. Time to save a little bit. It's a brand new page, after all. Usually, I don't like saving, like, on video, but... Seeing Pig spin is really fun. Oh, did... what's he doing? It's an amazing afro he's got going on there. God, that's kind of weird. Yeah, but he had an amazing quaff of hair, though. It's the office building! Time to get our office on! Oh, I guess you could read Hylian, huh? Or, or wherever this place is. Traveling license office. That sounds like us. Yep, like there's not a sign like right next to it. It looks like there's a royal crest up there that has like a super rupee on it or something. Yep, time to get our passport. This is reminding me of Knuckle Sandwich, except these guys are in all different colors. This tells me we're going to be in a queue for a while. Uh, Lion, can you, like, shove people out of the way? Yes, the perfect man for the job, Mr. Tingle. You could do it, you could get through that queue. You guys just, uh, wait right there. Bariki, you can take a seat. <laughs> Yes, I know how to do this. Jeez. Uh... Yeah, stamps! Let's just, uh, listen in on all the conversation. Hell, there's a notice board around here somewhere. Looks like only the people facing the camera have something to say. Proof of employment, that doesn't sound good. I just want a passport, too! Looks like we're having some problems already. The application forms. Oh boy, the joys of being in the DMV. Actually, I just recently went to the DMV. You know, update driver's license and all that. It wasn't that bad. Then again, I live in the sticks. Yeah, the Tingliner! Yeah, unfortunately. It's very reliable, unless somebody tampers with it. Yeah, we're stuck here too. That's what makes it uncool. This looks like a notice board. Get the application form. Answer the questions and get a stamp! Yay! Then present your proof of employment. Oh, that's a problem. 
and get a stamp for that too. And then we hand out a, a farm with two stamps and we'll get our passport. Sounds simple enough, except for that employment part. Uh, what is Tingle going to write in? No, we're going to need this. Yay! I love doing paperwork in my Tingle game. The Japanese have some weird hobbies. All right, uh, which are these? Which are these two guys? These fun fellows. These very stoic-looking people. Have my application form data. Are they just gonna pull up Tingle? Does he even have a record? And also, he has no soul. He works for the government. Anyway, hello. Yeah, we're applying for a passport. I already got that. I'm good. Here it is, right here. Isn't this thrilling? This is so much fun! I'm having so much fun doing paperwork. Yay, I feel thrilled. It's gonna turn into like a game show, isn't it? They're like, you have four passports. One of them is writing video games for the internet. I'm still getting a lot of like, knuckle sandwich vibes from this room. Yeah, about that. No, that's not his job to get the bad news. A photograph? Hey, that's not on the rules. Well, I guess it is a passport. You do need a photograph. Well, I read all of that, but it didn't say anything about a photo. Alright, time for questions! Oh, I'm gonna have to type them in, aren't I? We're going to, um... I could type the city, but let's be... Emerald City. That's not Emerald City. That's Emerald. This is what I get for doing it late at night. Emerald... Where's the space? City. Ah, oh, this, this place is draining my energy. Yes, it's a lot happier than here because the people don't hate their lives. Alright, that's, that's the only question on this application form. The rest of it, empty space. Why? Because it's the government! <laughs> now we have to work on that proof of employment thing. Yeah, he's gonna get some bad news. So, proof of employment, dude. Oh. Oh, uh, are you pro proof of employment? I can't tell what the symbols mean above them. That's when- oh, it's window number two. That's what a two looks like in this world. And that's a three. Okay, we gotta go here next. So she looks a little familiar. Like a fellow that we've seen recently. Yep, I'm here for proof of employment. Oh no, it's a lady, I forgot. Are you seriously calling the guards because Tingle's ugly? She is! Tingle terrorized her with his face! Well, this isn't good. So we just got abducted by the armed guards for being ugly. Yeah, I'll be back in just a moment. Don't you worry, Lion. Look, we can explain. It's just a tingle. So something tells me tingle's not allowed back in the office again. He's not sleeping, he's unconscious. Kakashi. So that didn't go well. Dangerous objects. Tingle. Wow, this game does not pull any punches with Tingle's looks. 
So, Tingle cannot enter the building because he is a Tingle. Oh, this is profiling. I want to speak to the lawyer. Is there any Tingle lawyers that could tolerate? We're gonna have to sneak on the fairy then. So, we can't really solve anything like that. Um, Kakashi, do you think you could do something about this? Oh, we could write her in a book. Maybe we could bribe our way past the guard. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Also, Kakashi, can't you really do something about this? Don't you, like, have something on your person? Maybe we could just talk about this. Okay, we'll just talk to your hand then. How would your hand like some presents? So, let's see what the Tinglometer says. She hates food, which would surprise me. But she likes everything else. She hates cool and rarity, but she likes mature and gorgeous. So, let's try some of those mature hobbies. Nah, I didn't buy any of those. How about gorgeous hobbies? No, I was buying tools. Alright, fine. Let's put these, some, some of these tools to work then. That's an absolute no. This is cool and mature. She hates cool things. That's pretty and mature, but she's kind of neutral to pretty. That's uh, also pretty. That's cool. She hates rarity. Man, there's not a lot of things she likes in this. Oh, she would like some bubble bubble. Here, have some bubble bubble. She enjoys it. She's using it right now, on duty. Oh, really? You can let us buy then? Yeah? Without any more presents? No, we have to fully tingle her. Alright, let's see. Mature... That's cool, sadly. Eh, nothing seems to be working for the mature, and we already gave her a bubble bubble. So, let's try the gorgeous line. Oh, the oh, the rupee sapling is rarity. Now drat. That's pretty and gorgeous. Man, I did not shop wisely, did I? I have absolutely no style yet. There's like no level one style. Would she like to train? Would you like a train? Do you like trains, right? Oh. Well, at least it didn't affect our uh, rating any. But she doesn't want train. Train is no. Absolutely not. I guess we'll do some uh, pretty and mature and pretty gorgeous things. They're not as effective, but they're effective enough. Especially since pretty is neutral, so anything with pretty on it is going to be just fine by her. So do we have any other pretty mixed things? She hates food. Pretty and rarity, she would despise that. She would despise that too. Eh, this is pretty and gorgeous. Have a mega candle. I need to offload this somewhere anyway. So there we go! Guard properly love pushed. That means you'll let us back in now. She sees us in a different light. <laughs> so whenever you get thrown out of a building, just start throwing gifts at a guard. Clearly that's the right answer. See, I'm not a biological weapon. I'm starting to be a little concerned that love pushes damage their brain. Because uh, I wouldn't go from that to handsome. We're also going to meet the king. Now, Kakashi, you could have flashed that earlier. I was hinting at you to do it. Yeah, maybe that is a wise thing. You never know when thieves are around here. 
Or maybe it's a plot token. See, Kakashi, you would have saved me a lot of rupees if you just whipped that out. So that medal seems to have some kind of effect on the royal patronage. So we got a little bit of a hint for the next love push. The lady likes food. So next time on Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love, we still need to do more paperwork. Also, this whole employment thing is going to be a hassle. I don't think anyone here is employed. Good night, folks. <laughs>